when Persia was the only superpower on Earth. These great kings worshipped a god named Ahura Mazda, whose origins in time are lost to us. His prophet was Zoroaster. Every Zoroastrian temple was consecrated to fire. It played the central role in Zoroastrian worship, symbolizing both the purity of their god and the light of the illuminated mind. Tending an eternal flame through the centuries was one of the few ritual obligations of the Zoroastrians. They chose this first truly human achievement, the domestication of fire, as the focal point of their worship. The god Ahura Mazda didn't ask much. He didn't want your ritual sacrifices. He didn't want your money. All he asked of human beings was good thoughts, good words, and good deeds. But for some reason, most people couldn't fulfill these simple requests. Often they had bad thoughts and said evil things. And some of them committed crimes that were evil. Why? It was all because of Ahura Mazda's polar opposite, Angra Mainyu. This is where the devil was born. From his short horns to his hoofs. Zoroastrianism was the dominant religion from Greece to India for a thousand years. No wonder they were so influential on the religions that came after. For the Zoroastrians, all the evil in the world, the crimes committed by humans, as well as the catastrophes of natural disasters and disease, were the results of Angra Mainyu's unceasing mischief. Their god, Ahura Mazda, looked to human beings to help him defeat the devil. Any person, by their actions, could tip the scales of the whole future of the universe in either the direction of good or evil.